And Jesus is painting a picture of the kind of freedom that he wants to give to our lives through forgiving the people who have wounded us. Now, it's good to know what unforgiveness is because unforgiveness is a prison that punishes the human soul. Stacy and I, we used to live in the San Francisco Bay Area before we came to Southern California and we went to Alcatraz. Truth be told, one time was enough for me to go to Alcatraz. But we went another time and um, it's cool, it's great. But uh, I found out at Alcatraz that they would put people in prison and across the water, so Alcatraz is this like cold, dark prison on an island about a mile away from San Francisco. And across the way, there's like this cold water, shark infested, and this water between the prison. By the way, the prison shut down, just in case you didn't know this. Um, but that's why I went there. <laughs> just clarifying, just in case anybody wondered. For maybe our international audience, it's good to know that. Um, so there's this cold water between the, the, between the city and the prison. But you could sit in the prison or stand in the prison and you could see San Francisco. And they, would sit, they said on, on like some nights, clear nights, you could hear people on the other side of the water laughing with their family. And here you are in a prison. You're stuck. You can't get out. And some of you, that's where you are right now. You come to church and you go to small group and people have joy and you're stuck in your bitterness. You're, you're in relationship with your kids and you can't enjoy them because there's bitterness deep in your heart. And it's a prison. It's literally, the scripture, the word for offense is bait. So in the book, The Bait of Satan, the author talks about it is the primary bait that the enemy will use to drag your soul into a prison. And the merciful God of the universe is right there and you can see the joy in other people's lives, but you can't experience it yourself. It's a prison. Some of you are gonna get out of that prison today. Some of you are gonna walk right out of that prison. It's not only a prison, it's a poison. I can feel the weight of this right now because I know that the Holy Spirit is, he's working in you. And there's also an enemy that doesn't want you to be free from your bitterness. Bitterness and unforgiveness is a poison that literally destroys your relationships. So it's, it's virtually impossible to have bitterness one spot and it not seep out into other relationships. Somebody said one time that bitterness or unforgiveness is like drinking a poison and expecting somebody else to die. So it's like I'm thinking I'm locking somebody else in this prison, but literally I'm closing myself into the prison. It's a root that Hebrew says, that it defiles our entire lives. And this poison, this bitterness, is a bitterness that literally has the ability to ruin marriages, to ruin relationships with kids, to keep you in a place of isolation as a single person for decades. Hebrews 12, 14 through 17 says it like this. It says, work at living in peace with everyone with a holy life or work at a holy life for those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. And watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. Watch out so that this bitter root doesn't defile your marriage, so that this bitter root doesn't defile your place of work, so that this bitter root doesn't wreck your relationships with other students at your school.